The company announced last week that it would be showing up at that community meeting and for many frustrated residents, the first they've heard from them directly since the plant explosion that changed their lives. The night teams, Clarice Shaley and photojournalist Levi Hammer have the give and take and the pointed questions. I'm homeless. I'm walking out here with pain that I didn't have to deal with before. An emotional Clifton community meeting. We have little kids, I have a four-year-old son. He's irritable, he's angry, his nightmares, he's not the same. Full, so we're handed this direction. People well, signing up for a meeting. What I'm hoping for is accountability. People actually lining the outside of the building, waiting to get inside to get answers after the deadly Jividon explosion. You're not listening to me. And the response from the president of Jividon, packing the room. But there were a lot of questions that did not get answered. Asking about cleanup and repair. We can't report something that we can't see. And issues with the hotline and what will be compensated. There's some disconnect between what the message is in your third party and what you're telling us today. And that is not pretty. And their property value. Value. It blows up every 20 years. Let's move there. And people need answers. Frustration over the response. Nobody from the company has reached out, checked on anybody, as far as I'm aware, my street. While Jividon says send them the bill, there's concern about temporary housing for people in need. They need to complete their due diligence and get these people helped without it being at any expense to them. From a wary community. I'm not a gambler. I don't want to gamble on them doing better next time. This is what we're going to do. Just leave. Go. Still waiting for answers. In the Clifton neighborhood, Clarice Chaley, WHAS 1119 on your side.